the Microsoft Accelerator startups had an opportunity to visit the Techstars Seattle demo day. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Techstars Seattle class of 2012. I think it was a bit uh, shocking for the startups too to think, wow, this is what people are expecting. Demo day was amazing. There was, there was so much energy in the room. It was great to see how polished and um, how good the pitches were. Demo Day was two things. One, awesome, and two, incredibly scary. You've got to have everything lined up from beginning to end, and you've only got six minutes to do it. To get from where we are today to where those companies are is still going to require a lot of work, and we're coming down to the end of the pipeline. So we spent an incredible amount of time meeting with mentors during the beginning of the program, following the mentor mixer and having a lot of follow-up meetings. We're coming to the point now where we're narrowing down on those individuals who are going to be our lead mentors. And I think of them you know, as advisors as much as I do as mentors. I think that what the Techstars mentorship-driven model really offers is it offers that huge network of people that would be so hard to reach otherwise. I mean, you would spend years setting up coffee meetings with these people, and instead they're coming right to you and giving you a chance to meet and grow that network in a way that you couldn't possibly do on your own. It's really helped us kind of crystallize our thinking and you know help plug holes in our, our business that we really didn't even see were there at first. They've built companies before. Um, they know what to do. They can allow us to not make the same mistakes that they made. They're helping us designing the product. They're helping us figuring out our uh, strategy. They're helping us uh, uh, talking to VCs or talking to angels and uh, just amazing. It's a hard process building a startup. It's usually a lonely process. It kind of serves as both that got to get something done for that next meeting, but then also inspiration to, uh, to take some of those great ideas that you get and put them to work. We're building lifelong relationships. We're not building, you know, fly-by mentorship. This is, this is roll-your-sleeves-up mentorship. So today we had a meeting with Dave Tamler and the goal of the meeting was to go over our pitch together. This is the world today, so here, here's the world today, and, and here's how it works, this is what it does, and this is his outcomes, and, this, and these are the pains, right? Okay. And you can, you can describe that this is a big world, it makes a ton of money, mm -hmm. right? But it's also shedding a lot of money, it's not getting a lot of money, right? Mm -hmm. And then you can say, you know, so look at this world, it's, it's a big market, it's making tons of money, and it's completely broken. Right? Like, mm -hmm. you know, game developers aren't happy, you know, we're losing money. You get my point, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you can say, and then we go over here, and here's the world on stack. And the world looks like this, you know, because uh -huh. we're addressing these problems, we're making them more. You, you get my point. When I watch your presentation, that's the whole, for me, that's the whole thing I'm having a hard time mm -hmm. talking. Without a meeting like this, we could have been uh, kept working on uh, uh, trying to communicate uh, a small set of the big picture that they're trying to solve for weeks maybe. It really shows us what is the most interesting stuff for a person that is listening to our pitch for the first time. Today I had a meeting with Jillian and she's one of the founders of SEO Moz. She runs the company with her son, Rand Fishkin. She was actually the first one who I let drive and by drive I mean you know, she was playing with the mouse on the computer and I could see where her eye went and what was important, you know, some, some pieces of the product that we were missing potentially. We want to stress mm -hmm. the 10K because a lot of people mm -hmm. have said, well, I don't have 100K to, to do business with you and we go, but that's part of our differentiation. Then right? it has to be right here. Okay. Realty mogul. That's um, the tagline almost. 10K or more, right? Yeah. Yeah, part of our challenge is education, right? Yeah. So some of our, our target market doesn't understand real estate investing, doesn't mm -hmm. understand first trustee investments, or a, the difference between a flip and a buy and hold. So. Absolutely. So those are all good things, but I would not start the answer with, Realty Mogul allows you to make equity investments. Uh, no, no, answer yeah, I just answered right, yeah. answer the question. Okay, got all it. Right, so yeah. equity investment is this, a loan is that. Thank yep. you. We had a fantastic meeting, gave us some really great feedback on our user experience. You know, the most important thing for us when we're with mentors is just to listen. We had a second meeting with David Cohen and the focus of that meeting was to articulate what we were going to do with brands on the platform. 
if I'm the guy at Whistler and you're walking in the first meeting, yeah. what's the pitch? The, the pitch is basically helping them to promote their destination. They're all about trying to get their name out and you know, why pick Whistler by Comb over you know, Vale or Aspen or Breckenridge. Right, okay, we're going to so, promote it, but I have, I have 400,000 people, you have 200. How, how are you going to promote it for me? That would be my reaction. Yeah, we can help them connect those 400,000 to their million and a half, two million friends beyond those 400,000. So I can connect you beyond that first level. Isn't that what Facebook does? No. That would be my reaction. Yeah, okay, yeah. Play, play yeah. a role. No, that's yeah. great, so that's great. Me. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get you to go through the pitch. Okay, I don't sorry, yet. I didn't realize that. Boil down the pitch, right? Mm -hmm. Like fewer words. I'm Whistler, why do I care about you? Mm -hmm. So we gotta give them enough value that they wanna give those mm -hmm. users to us. Mm -hmm. So when you say, uh, we will take your 400,000 users and extend the social reach of that and triple your sales, mm -hmm. I'm listening. Right, right. It was interesting meeting because we were having a conversation and David really wanted us to articulate our pitch and distill our message. So that was a, a, a great part of what that meeting was about. Well, he's the CEO of Techstars, so he makes us strive for excellence. And so when we got to the point where, okay, now I'm listening, that was a good position for us. It made us feel good. So we've been focusing on articulating that message really closely for the last couple of weeks. These startups were picked because they're strong startups, strong founders, strong teams. It's really the rate of learning and the rate of progress that they achieve with the help of these mentors that sets them apart from all the other startups that are out there.